We're here at the Mubarala Petroleum Stand and joining me now is Maurizia Lenoche. He is the Chief Executive Officer of uh, Mubarala Petroleum. Thanks so much for joining us. Now, since we met last year, how has the year been for you? It's been a good year? The year has been wonderful. We started the year in uh, the first quarter with a large gas discovery in Malaysia. We believe we have found approximately 5 trillion cubic feet of gas in place. Still unclear how much of the gas we're going to be able to recover. We are at the appraisal stages. So we're looking forward for probably what is going to be our largest development in Southeast Asia in the forthcoming years. Well, well done. Well, wonderful news. It's keeping you all busy. But I also believe you're uh, having a look around Thailand and maybe getting very busier in that region as well. Yeah, actually, as a matter of fact, today we're announcing and issuing a press release. We have uh, just uh, announced that uh, we reach first oil at our Manora field in Thailand. Uh, today we're announcing around 2,200 barrels a day of production. This is going to ramp up to approximately 15,000 barrels a day by Q1 of 2015. But that time between our already producing field, Jasmine and Manora, we're going to reach 30,000 barrels of oil gross in Thailand. Operated. Wonderful, but you've also been very busy you know, throughout the whole region. Tell me of your ongoing work in Indonesia also. Indonesia, one year after starting up production of Ruby, I can say that we've been very efficient in operating that field. Uh, we've been uh, producing gas, we've been selling the gas to a fertilizer plant, which is part of the national food program in Indonesia. So we're very proud of that project, which was our first uh, development from A to Z in Southeast Asia. Now, closer to home, of course, you're still busy here and keeping an eye on managing what's going on here in Abu Dhabi. Tell me about that. Well, in Abu Dhabi, the focus has been uh, twofold. Number one, in strengthening our organization and in accordance with the guidance of our shareholder and the leadership to empower UA National. As a matter of fact, I'm you know, proud to announce that uh, uh, my successor has been uh, uh, nominated and approved by the board. His name is Mr. Musab Al Kabi is uh, going to be uh, effectively now the CEO of Mubadala Petroleum. So it's a great source of pride uh, to have a, a prominent and capable UAE national, uh, you know, taking the legacies and bringing Mubadala Petroleum to new uh, successes in the future. Well, a big congratulations to him and indeed a congratulations to you for getting him to that level. But of course, we're all going to miss you here. But over the years, you've been coming to um, ADIPEC now. How are you feeling this year in terms of the people that are coming and the people that you're, you're meeting and hopefully that your new CEO is going to be introduced to? Well, first and foremost, I'm not going away. I'm going back to the shareholder, to Mubadala, and I'm going to be still involved in the energy sector, advising some of the leadership there. And again, uh, advising my success on Musab if and when uh, required. ADIPEC going from strength to strength. I've been at ADIPEC for the last 14 years, and this conference has been uh, really surprising me personally because the quality of the content, the quality of the attendance, the quality also of the exhibition is, uh, is second to none. I mean, I've been participating in many conferences around the world, and this is becoming uh, probably the leading uh, oil and gas conference in the world. And also, you're finding this for um, a lot of the young Emiratis, and again, the talent pool that you're building here, that they're able to come here, able to, to meet with their peer group, and really get some good advantage of being you know, among you know, an international exhibition like this. How important is it for all of the young people that you're bringing up? Very important for a particular reason. In the past, Young Emirati had probably only one opportunity to, in the oil and gas business, which was the national company. Today, with the likes of Mubadala Petroleum, we offer the opportunity to Young Emiratis to go abroad and to learn uh, in an international setting. As a matter of fact, I believe yesterday in the ministerial session, our chairman, His Excellency Suela Marzui, spoke about a young national lady who is actually working in Malaysia to develop the gas discovery that I mentioned earlier. Uh, and, and that's something that uh, you know, a few years ago was not possible. Today, thanks to the support of the leadership and the work in Mubadala Petroleum, we have probably a dozen Emiratis that are working across our international location. And they're contributing. I mean, they're not there to learn. They're there to provide uh, their expertise uh, to, to the work. 
He did indeed. He was very proud of her and showcased her as a great example of Absolutely. you know young women here. And just um, we were going to be looking at the Women in Industry Forum later in that for ladies coming into this industry um, before you leave Mubarla Petroleum. And I'm lovely you're going to be here at Adipec from time to time after that. But what do you say to the ladies coming into this industry? Is this a good industry for them to get involved in? And indeed to many more young Emirati men. I'm gonna. The only message is that watch on YouTube the video, the New Frontiers, the Mubadala New Frontiers video. It's a 28 minute video. It tells you the story about Salma Alajir. And uh, it's a remarkable story of this young Emirati lady that went through hell to get where she is today. And she has been an inspiration to me personally, but she could be an inspiration to all the women in the Emirates. You can do it. Super, well, we'll take a look at that. Um, Maurizio, thank you so much, and it's been a joy to have you here, and good luck, and we'll see you still in Abu Dhabi. You're staying thank with you us. Great. Thank I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.